Good morning everyone, I hope you are all well. I'm very excited to be filming this video or to be starting to film this video because I think I'm actually gonna have to film it over like a two to three week period. We are making some changes to our home, to our kitchen specifically, and I've mentioned this to you guys many times over the years, um, quite early on that we thought maybe in the future we'd make these changes and then more recently as well. As I'm sure you guys understand, when you renovate a house, when you get a house, when you do up a house, over time you grow and you change and you realize that maybe you do some things differently. There aren't many things that we would change actually about the house that we purchased and how we did it up. There are a few things, some of which we can't change because it's to do with what sort of property you're looking for. And then some of them are things that we could easily change. And one of them is in the kitchen. I've talked about this before. We did this kitchen before having kids and we had no idea what life with kids was really like. And we quite quickly realized that our fridge freezer was too small for us. And we chose having a big double larder over a bigger fridge. And my mum told me and I didn't listen. And I, I knew quite quickly that we'd made that mistake. It wasn't a massive mistake, but it was something we thought in the future when we have more children, we'll probably get a bigger fridge and a smaller larder. That change is happening now, sooner than we thought. Um, this is probably something we would have done in the future, but an opportunity came up with Hire, who is the brand that is sponsoring this video today. And obviously I jumped at the opportunity to work with them. We absolutely love their fridges. It's, we've, me and Rich had already been looking at them. Um, it's exactly what we wanted. And so I'm working with Hire on this video to make these changes to our kitchen that are gonna make such a difference to our lifestyle. Um, now that our family is growing, I'm just so excited. So there are quite a few different elements that go into this. The fridge is from Hire, and I'm gonna be showing you the fridge properly and giving you a really good tour. It's not something I can really do until it's plugged in. The fridge is here, I will show you in a minute, but until it's plugged in and like working, I can't really give you the proper tour and tell you about that. So I will definitely be doing that later on in the video. But to do, to make these changes, we're having to kind of rip out this part of the kitchen. So they're making a new larder, a smaller, double doors still, but just a smaller larder. And the kitchen company that we use, Harry Bone Kitchens, who are just fab, said that they won't really be able to color match it with the rest of the kitchen. It will quite obviously stand out and look different. So we thought we'd take this opportunity to rethink whether, you know, if we're gonna repaint the whole kitchen, which is very easy to do with a wooden kitchen. That's kind of the, the like, plus side to a painted wooden kitchen. If we're gonna repaint it, do we wanna paint it the same color that we already have, which is a Mylan's paint that's matched to Hague Blue, Farrow and Ball. And we had a little think about it and we were like, we love Hague Blue in the lounge because it's a north facing room, it's dark and it, it's a really rich, deep, dark, greeny blue. But actually, do we love it in the kitchen? I really like went through so many options. I was like, maybe I want a light kitchen. But actually, I really like having a dark kitchen. I love the contrast with the white quartz, but I just think that Hague Blue shows a little bit too blue. It doesn't look that blue now, but it, because it's such a bright south-facing kitchen, it shows up much blue than I wanted. So we are gonna paint the kitchen black. It's very bold. We're going with Mylan's Sinner, which I've shown you guys before is this paint. It's gonna be black, but my theory is it's dark, but it's neutral. It's not gonna be a color. It's not gonna show very green. It's not gonna show very blue. It's just gonna be black. Um, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. We've got some new handles from Dowsing and Reynolds that we ordered. So we had to get a quote for the new larder, the new unit here. So the herringbone are doing the new larder and unit. We ordered some new handles from Dowsing and Reynolds. And we've also found a guy who's gonna repaint our kitchen. I think part of it he does on site and then part of it he takes it away. I don't really know what state the house is gonna be in when he's painting it, but yeah, I'm excited for these changes and nervous, but mainly excited. We obviously don't want any of this to go to waste. It's only a couple of years old. So I reckon Herringbone are gonna take some of the materials and then the spice racks inside, let me show you. We sadly can't reuse these spice racks because they're much wider than the new doors, but I'm gonna keep the spice racks. We're gonna paint them and oil them and we're gonna use them in the garden and make a little herb garden. I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect. We're gonna make sure that all these materials kind of don't go to waste. We've been clearing out stuff from the larder, getting ready for next week. And this is the fridge. But like I said, I will show you properly when I can. Here's a little sneak peek. I'm just so excited. Oh my God, guys. I'm so excited about it all just being like open in one like that. Oh my God, I love it. it smells, smells like a new fridge. 
We really like the handles that we have now. They're just plain brass T-bar, but they're really, really cheap and really bad quality. We were at the end of the renovation. We'd had a quote for handles that was like thousands of pounds and we were like, do you know what? We, this is something we can just change another time. So we got these handles knowing they wouldn't be here forever. But it's actually proven really, really difficult to find an alternative, but like the same style, just the kind of smooth brass T-bar, especially in the length that we wanted. We really like how the handles on the drawers are quite long. So in the end, we kind of settled for these. I love these, but I just wasn't sure about having them in the kitchen because a lot of people say they get quite grubby and they're hard to clean. I think we're just gonna have to like be a bit careful um, about, you know, not, opening the drawers and stuff with really dirty hands but also it's a kitchen it's going to get lived in things are going to get dirty and they're going to wear over time and i'm fine with that but i love that the quality is so much better they're so much heavier than the handles we have now these are from dowsing and reynolds and they're it's a is it curled or knurled i don't know what it's called but it's got this like texture to it and i think these will look really nice they're very similar to what we've got but they're just gonna last longer. And I thought whilst we're doing this, let's change the handles because the guy who's repainting the kitchen said it's very easy for him to like fill old holes. So that's why we're kind of doing more than we wanted to do, more than we need to do. But it's because if we're gonna do all of this, it all ties in at the same time, if you know what I mean. So we might as well repaint the kitchen now. We might as well change the handles now. It's gonna feel like having a new kitchen, I think. I'm just so excited to like fill the fridge and organize it and it's gonna be dreamy. So I hope you guys enjoy this little journey. I'm starting this now because on Monday, the kitchen fitters are coming and they're gonna, they're gonna do this section. So I think for a week or so, we're gonna have like a strange unpainted larder situation. And then next week, the kitchen paint is coming and then it will be done. Very exciting. Okay, so this is gonna be the new larder. Wow, it's a lot narrower than our old one, but a really decent size still. <laughs> this is definitely, the option we should have gone for originally. So that's gonna be the new larder and then the fridge will go next to it on the right. So today our kitchen is going to be turned black. Oop, I'm scared, but I'm excited. Day two of painting and I just wanted to give you a quick update before Callum arrives to continue painting. This is the old color and then this is the new color. I'm not sure if it's the first coat or the final coat, but you can kind of see the difference. Everything shows up totally different on camera, but I'm so, so happy with it. It's Mylan's Sinner. So you can see it's not like a flat matte black. It's just a really smart, it almost looks dark blue, but then in real life it kind of doesn't. It's technically a black. I think it looks really, really smart. You can really see the difference here. Okay, I'm excited to say that the kitchen painting is done a day earlier than expected. I'm so happy we can kind of start putting our kitchen back together. We just have one more thing to go. The quartz inside the larder and the shelves need going back in. So we can't put anything that's gonna go on the shelf or like the microwave and stuff back, but we can start loading the drawers. I really wanna recommend Callum who painted the kitchen for us. He came recommended from Herringbone Kitchens and no, and he was like the nicest guy to have around in the house all week. So professional, such a perfectionist, and just like the quality. I think this paint is gonna last us so, so long. Like he talked through the process of how he paints and it's just, he's just done such a brilliant job. I'm so impressed and so grateful for him. Totally worth every penny. Um, I'm just so happy with it. I'm so happy with the color. It definitely looks more like a navy. In, on camera, it will look much more blue to you guys than it does in real life. To the eye, it does look more black, but not like a flat black, like a navy black. And I really like that. My sister came over, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. My sister came over to have a look and she was like, it just looks like it should have always been this color. And I totally agree. And I love that. I love it's not a drastic change. It's just like the right change. And it looks perfect. It looks like it should have always been this way. So let me show you around. The new fridge looks amazing i was worried about the black and the black and i just think it works it looks so sleek so smart so this is the fridge freezer and then this is the new larder next to it let me kind of come out and you can see what the island looks like oh it just looks amazing my favorite bit is the drawers because it's just such a big area it looks so so smart with the new color and the new handles everything just looks amazing and then sorry rich is just pottering around i also love the drinks cabinet i think this looks really great i think it looks really good with the gray micro concrete and then let me show you this section oh, i just 
I love it. Let me show you from this side. It's perfect. Now we know if we ever renovate again, <laughs> we could have made a worse mistake. It was just, you know, one of those things. This is how we definitely should have done it first time around. And I'm so happy. Such a little change made such a big difference. If I just open this up, he's done the spice racks as well and the drawers. So the quartz is gonna go on here and then the shelves, we can start filling this. Okay, the day is finally here, a few weeks later where I can show you the finished kitchen. Just realized I probably should have tidied up the kitchen first. <laughs> but I think the last thing I have to show you is the quartz fitted inside the larder. Okay, so this has all been done now. It's the same bit of quartz, it's just been cut down to size. So now it looks great and it fits perfectly. And then the shelves have all been fitted now as well. I also just wanted to show you guys, as I know once the kitchen's painted, it's quite hard to see. Like, I know people are gonna say like, it doesn't look any different. This is the old color and that's the new color. So it is quite a big difference. Now you can see like how blue this old color was. Now I'm excited to finally show you our new fridge. I am so pumped and so over the moon with this fridge. We've had it now for a few weeks and it's actually even better than I could have imagined. It's so perfect for us and it's made like such a huge difference. I was obviously a bit skeptical about making these changes to the kitchen. I knew I wanted to do it, but I was just worried that I was kind of doing all this stuff for no reason. But now I've had the fridge for a few weeks. It's made such a huge impact on our lives. I'm not even exaggerating. It has been so good. And I know that when we have this next baby and we start weaning and we need freezer space, it's gonna be amazing. So this is what it looks like. The fridge is from Hire, as I mentioned, and it's part of their Cube series. I'm gonna pop you guys on a tripod so I can talk you through it properly. Okay, so we went for this really nice dark option. I was worried that it was gonna be like too black with the black, but like you can see, the paint isn't black black. And also the fridge is more of like a metallic dark gray, so it works really well. One of the main things I absolutely loved about this fridge is that it's not like a standard American fridge freezer. Like my sister's fridge, she's got a freezer down one side and a fridge down the other. And I don't personally love that because the fridge part, which you use the most, you can't really see everything in it and you've got to like bend down to the bottom quite a lot. So this fridge is a little bit different. It's got four sections. These two top doors open up so you can see everything inside. It's all just one clear bit. There's no like middle divide. Oh my God, it's so, so good guys. And then the freezer is these two doors at the bottom. So down here is the freezer. We've got this one section here, this one here. So much space, it's like pretty much full already. We really needed it. I even have an ice lolly and an ice cream section, which I'm so happy about. We didn't have any space for ice creams in our old freezer. The best thing about this freezer, which I absolutely love, is that this section here on the right this is called a switch zone, and you can actually turn this into a fridge or a freezer. So say it's barbecue season, you're having a party, and you actually need more fridge space, if you could actually possibly need more fridge space. You can change the temperature, so it can be a fridge or a freezer, which I just think is so clever. So if you don't need the massive freezer, this whole section could be changed into a fridge, so you have extra space for like a cake, you know, things that sometimes don't fit in the fridge. So. I think that's so clever. We're using this as a freezer for now, but it's so great to know that we have the option if we need it. So this fridge is 628 litres, but if you were to turn that freezer part into a fridge, it adds a 50% more capacity to your fridge. So this is, the, this is the touch screen on here. So you can set the temperature for the fridge, the my zone, which is the one that you can change, and the freezer. Let's take a look inside the fridge. If you guys want me to do a proper what's in my fridge video, let me know, I could definitely do that. I love those videos. So this is what it looks like. I love the LED light at the back. Everything is just so clear and visual and oh, so pleasing. This is the humidity zone. So this is where you keep the fruit and veg to keep them fresher for longer. I tend to store things that are quite like watery in here, tomatoes, aubergine, cucumbers, um, and it definitely makes them stay fresher for longer. So that is great, nice big drawers. This is the dry zone over here. And look at all this shelf space. It's just dreamy. Like I said, let me know if you want me to do a what's in my fridge video. 
I could definitely do that. The final thing worth mentioning is the antibacterial treatment, which when I read it at first, I was like, that sounds super fancy. What does that even do? But it's meant to keep odors at bay. And I'm telling you, our fridge, our old fridge would always stink. No matter what we did, no matter how often we cleaned it, like it always ended up stinking, especially when pregnant. It was just like my number one trigger for gagging. This fridge, guys, it never smells or well, so far it has worked a treat like it just smells like nothing it smells neutral no matter how smelly the cheese is that we put inside so that is great i also wanted to add because i know it's really hard making these sort of fridge freezer decisions i always thought i wanted one that had the big freezer drawers at the bottom but actually when i started looking at them it's really hard to access all the things because you open these big drawers and then everything's piled on top of each other whereas i find having the freezer like this so much easier to get to everything like everything is just really easy to access can i just show you a close-up of this drawer oh my god i'm so into mini magnums at the moment so there you go i am so so happy with our higher cube series fridge if i could go back three years and listen to my mum, who said get a bigger fridge <laughs> she was totally right and this is just the a dreamiest setup for us so let me know what you guys think of our little kitchen. I wouldn't even call it a makeover, an update, a little switch around. So happy with the color, so happy with the handles and the fridge has just like blown me away. So it just feels like this is how it should have always been. Let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for watching and supporting as always. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.